Okay, I'd like to uh, ask everyone to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic which is stands, one nation, one nation under, God, under God, God, indivisible, indivisible liberty, and justice, and justice for all. I would say that once we get back from the MML meetings, we're going to open these meetings up. I think everyone's uh, the COVID rate has been down. I think we'll get back to uh, some type of less hybrid meeting, and I think we'll be able to open everything up again. So the uh, minutes of May 19th, do we have a motion to approve the minutes of May 19th? We have a motion by Commissioner Givens and a second by Commissioner Piner. Any discussion on the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Right. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes of May 26th meeting? Uh, motion to approve. We have a motion by uh, Commissioner Givens and a second by Commissioner Brummel. Any discussion on the May 26th meeting? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Financial report and payment of the bills. Do we have a motion to approve the financial report and payment of the bills? So moved. Uh, motion by Commissioner Piner. Second. Second by Commissioner Masmiano. Any discussion on the financial report? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, we have on the agenda today the Singerly Fire Company update and overview. Um, we're going to meet with them at a future workshop. Um, but I wanted to mention that uh, we do have their check ready, uh, the annual disbursement that's uh, uh, in our charter. And we're going to run that over after this meeting today. So anyone from the board would like to go along, that would be wonderful. Okay, the first item up is resolution R3-2021. Uh, Jean, are you going to read that to us exactly what it is? Sure. So in order to um, benefit from the um, community development block grants, federal grant funds, and uh, even some state funds, uh, one of the requirements is that we adopt a minority business plan, women-owned business uh, plan, um, for encouraging participation with MBE and WBE businesses. So the resolution, should I read the resolution? Yeah, go ahead. Or just the business plan? Um, you can read the resolution. Okay, so this resolution was, if you recall, um, then every three years we have to update certain town plans uh, for community development block grants. And in this case, uh, we also needed to update this plan, which expired this past year um, for uh, the State of Maryland Revitalization Program funds. They're now requiring this. So it reads a resolution of the mayor and commissioners of the town of Elkton adopting a minority business plan, women-owned business plan. Whereas the town of Elkton has applied for funds through the Community Development Block Grant Program administered by the Maryland Department of Housing and Community Development, and whereas the federal government requires the recipient of federal funds under the CDBG program to adopt and implement certain plans which incorporate minority business enterprises, provide for citizen anti-displacement relocation assistance, allow for input from local citizens on the use and implementation of federal funds through a participation plan and provide for the inclusion of lower income and disadvantaged persons within the community in the CDBG funded project. And whereas the town has prepared plans in conformance with the aforesaid CDBG requirements, it's the intent of the mayor and commissioners of the town of Elkton to implement those plans. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the mayor and commissioners of the town of Elkton hereby adopt the minority business enterprises and women business enterprises plan attached herewith and made part of this resolution. Thank you, Jean. Uh, do yes. we have a motion to accept resolution R3-2021? Sure. We have a motion by Commissioner Maspiano and a second by Commissioner Piner. Any discussion on this resolution? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Thank you so much, Gene Minner. Thank you. Gene. You're going to have to talk in that mic. Gene, can you hear me? The actual plan itself, are you able to forward that um, to me? I can I can read it aloud. It's not very long. And I and I will forward it to you, yes. Or I can just stop off. Never mind, I'll just stop off. Would you Sorry. like to read the plan? No, it's not necessary. Thank you. 
It's not necessary. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Town administrator report. Lou, you're on, or do you want me to roll with this? This, uh, the ordinance uh, next is uh, 2021 is for the fiscal year 22 budget. And it was, uh, you had a public hearing on it on the 26th. So it's subject to adoption tonight. And if the board adopts it as it was prepared and submitted for the uh, special meeting, then essentially uh, the, the budget will go forward without any additional amendments at this time. However, this budget can be amended anytime during the year. Consequently, uh, that, that's, you're not painting yourself into a corner here, but because if we get uh, rescue money, you know, from that Rescue Plan Act money, then it can be amended uh, at that time. The, uh, the highlight of this budget is that the, the, uh, the tax rate, the real property tax rate is 6356 as it's been for several years. And the real pro and the um, uh, personal property is 121 uh, per hundred, and that's been the uh, same way for many years. The water and sewer rates are not going to be altered in any way by this budget. So I would ask the board to consider adoption of Ordinance Street 2021, which uh, puts the fiscal year 22 annual budget uh, ready to go for July 1 when it's effective. Thank you, Lou. Do we have a motion to approve Ordinance 3 2021, which is fiscal year 2022 budget? We have a motion by Commissioner Gibbons and a second by Commissioner Brumel. Uh, the only discussion that I wanted to bring up is that I was uh, in the Parks and Rec budget. Uh, there was a little bit of a change I mentioned at the last meeting at the uh, introduction um, meeting that we were gonna take and add $2,000 to that budget. Uh, what we actually did is we just reallocated it out of, uh, I met with uh, uh, Steve Repol, we just reallocated it. It really wasn't any anything uh, uh, of, of any substantialness, uh, but there's same amount in the Parks and Rec budget, but it's gonna show uh, just allocated differently. That means it should make sense. There's no, there's no change in the budget. Uh, any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? All right. Motion carries, thank you. Let's get this uh, now adopted. And now we gotta wait X amount of days and July 1, we go into the new one. Uh, the only comment I have, uh, Steve, have you notified the county uh, uh, of our tax rate or is it subsequent to this adoption? Uh, I, I, subsequent to this adoption, I will notify them as soon as we're finished here this morning or this okay. afternoon. Okay, because we're required to notify the county of that. Uh, and the uh, state, yeah, that's correct. Okay. Thank uh, you. Next item I have is the Proclamation P7 uh, 2021, Daughters of the American Revolution, their 90th birthday, if I can read that into the record. Whereas since October 1890, the National Society of Daughters of the American Revolution has been dedicated to historic preservation, education, and patriotism. And whereas on June 12, 2021, the head of the Elk chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution will celebrate its 90th birthday, having been confirmed by the National Society in 1931. And whereas part of the celebration, the head of Elk chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution encouraged citizens to reflect upon the courageous settlers who arrived in America and established the foundation upon which this great country was built. And whereas the Daughters of the American Revolution remind us of our privilege to live in a free country, obey its laws and respect our flag, defending it against all enemies. Now, therefore, I, Robert J. Alt, by virtue of authority vested in me as mayor of the town of Elkton on behalf of the Board of Commissioners and citizens of the community, to hereby congratulate the head of Elk Chapter of the Daughters of American Revolution on this year, uh, on this 90th birthday, and encourage residents of Elkton to make time to celebrate our collective American heritage. I believe, uh, and um, I think Pat's on, uh, on line with us here, that they're going to have a actually a celebratory event down in Elk Landing. Is that correct, Pat? I don't know if she's muted or what. I, I just unmuted myself. Yes, uh, we'll be, it's June 12th from 2 to 4 in the afternoon 
at Elk Landing, and they are extending an invitation to the mayor and all the commissioners if you can possibly attend. That would be great, I think. Thank you. Do we have a motion to accept proclamation P7-2021, Daughters of the American Revolution, 90th anniversary? So moved. We have a motion by Commissioner Masmiano. Second. Second by Commissioner Brumel. Any discussion on this proclamation? Hearing none, all in favor. Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, the next item I have is a proclamation. Uh, P9-2021 uh, for Juneteenth. I'll read that uh, proclamation. Uh, Whereas on January 1st, 1863, the Emancipation Proclamation declared that all slaves shall be then, thenceforth, and forever free, and that the executive government of the United States, including the military and naval, naval authority thereof, will recognize and maintain the freedom of such persons and will do no act or acts to repress such persons or any of them and any efforts they may make for their actual freedom. And whereas on June 19th, 1865, the last vestiges of slavery fell when the General Gordon Ranger delivered and read General Order Number 3 in a remote area of Galveston, Texas, declaring that all enslaved people in Texas were free. And whereas whether called the Man, uh, Man Submission Day, Freedom Day, or Juneteenth, this day is marked by celebrations which began in community churches in the South and which have grown throughout our United States. And whereas while our country has come far from the oppressive days of slavery, we must continually re recommit ourselves to recognize that we are all children of God and equal in his eyes. Now, therefore, on behalf of the mayor and commissioners and the citizens of Elkton, under the authority vested in me as the mayor of the town of Elkton, I hereby declare the 19th of every June, Juneteenth. And in the town of Elkton, I encourage all of our citizens to recognize the price paid by those who spent their lives in slavery and, who's, and those who fought against it and to raise our collective voices against injustice. Thank you. Do we have a motion to approve Proclamation P9-2021, Juneteenth? We have a motion by Commissioner Gibbons, second by Commissioner Piner. Any discussion on this? Hearing none, all in favor. Aye, Aye. motion carries. Thank you, Lou. Okay, the last, uh, uh, next item I have is the uh, deed from Utri C5 LLC. We have a, uh, that's an organization that we had a uh, public works agreement with and they developed a piece of land on the uh, Upper Chesapeake Corporate Center. And uh, Pentel Circle is a improved improvement paved roadway in that development that will be dedicated to the town of Elkhorn conveyed to us actually by deed. And I don't know if you know where that is, but I took the liberty of, uh, of taking a, uh, a photograph, you know, a visual of it. And you can see it's right here around uh, that well, right next to the where the uh, county administration office building is, and I think that main building there is where the county. No, I'm sorry, the uh, hospital has a billing operation, so I'm pretty sure that's where it is. So uh, I would ask the board to accept the uh, conveyance of this property to the town, and we'll put it in our system. Very good. So you need a uh, an approval to accept. Uh, Pintail Circle, right. Very good. Do we have a motion to accept Pintail Circle into the uh, town of Elton? Got a motion by Commissioner Piner and a second by Commissioner Gibbons. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, last uh, item I have is Resolution R4. Uh, at, uh, last year, the town uh, passed a resolution, actually R4, uh, that uh, pledged the general fund to pay the sewer fund uh, back for the uh, loan to the uh, sewer uh, to the general fund in order for the um, actually sewer fund to the general fund for the construction of the uh, national uh, neighborhood community center there. And uh, we're postponing the first uh, uh, debt payment 
from the general fund to the sewer fund until 2023 rather than fiscal year 2022. So this resolution amends the previous resolution and allows us to postpone that payment of debt to the sewer fund from the general fund until next fiscal year. I would ask the board to consider uh, enacting this resolution as amended. We have a motion to approve resolution R4-2021, which is amending the loan repayment from the sewer fund to the general fund of the community center. So, we have a motion by Commissioner Maschiano, second. second by Commissioner Brumel. Any discussion on this? I, I guess the, I should probably interject and just say that uh, uh, Based on the budget and not knowing uh, the amount of dollars that will be coming in based on still COVID related, I thought it was a wise move just to push this back one year. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, I guess that ends my report, Mayor. You're on. I guess you're on now. Very good. Thank you. Uh, nothing new for me to report. Commissioner Piner, I think you have something you want to uh, address. Um, yeah. Okay. I, I have one other comment yeah. for Lewis, real quick. Lewis, uh, we, we have a couple of tournaments and stuff coming over to the neighborhood. I'd like to make sure we have some seating, some chairs. I know we talked about using some chairs, maybe from here or something. Uh, Lewis, can you hear me? Yeah, you need tables and chairs at the <laughs> uh, neighborhood uh, community center. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm not sure if Mary's uh, with us here or not. Well, I'm, but, uh, I'm I know there's some over there. I know there's some over there, but we have plenty upstairs. Yeah, we want to make sure that at least for the players and um, uh, hopefully we can have something for the fans uh, that are there in the yeah. business. But I'd like to, um, well, turn that over just to you to take care of that. Okay. Okay. But um, uh, for the neighborhood center, everything is really starting to pick up. Um, I do want to um, maybe next week introduce Mary to some gentlemen who would like to start uh, a cornhole um, tournament over there, which would be a nice little uh, gesture for the community. So anyway, that's it for me. Uh, I'd like to pass that along. I, I will. Uh, be, before I pass, pass it over to Commissioner Gibbons, I did have one item. Uh, our workshop next week, June 9th, there's nothing on the agenda. At this point, is there anything that you guys want on, on the agenda? I will not be here anyhow. I'm out of town. Uh, or we'll just go ahead and postpone the workshop. I think we want to postpone it because we already don't have anything. I don't know. Okay, perfect. Maybe, maybe All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, absolutely, you can. Uh, the workshop has been postponed. Commissioner uh, Givens, you were on. Uh, Mayor, you did uh, bring up the fact that over the meetings, uh, that would be fine. What time will they be? That's a great question. I think that uh, I like this idea of the first meeting of the month at noon, and then the uh, uh, we could go back to our regular schedule on the third uh, third Wednesday of the month and uh, make it back at uh, either six or seven. I'm good with either time. Mr. Gibbs, could you speak up like a coach in basketball? Because I know Lewis is having a hard time here. As most of you know, the talent often gets uh, each year two scholarships uh, to Elkton High School in an amount of uh, $500. It's always a privilege to stand among the ranks of the county and others who get scholarship and just uh, a commitment back to the community because uh, you know their tax dollars help to maintain that. I was able to go to Elkton High School at the end of May to award two scholarships uh, to two of the students. Uh, first of all, the students had to live in the Elkton municipalities, and they did, and the students were selected by the uh, scholarship committee of uh, Elkton High School with the counselor. Uh, I was very happy to see the two names uh, that were selected, did not know until I got there because I know both individuals. And the first individual is Monique Logan. Uh, Monique is Earl's granddaughter. 
and I was actually happy to see her GPA, GPA I'm sorry, mm -hmm. being uh, 4.067. Uh, wow. And she is going to the University of Maryland to major in secondary education. And amongst her attributes, uh, during her years at Alton High School, she was very involved in academics, uh, athletics, and she has a great deal of community service. <laughs> and I was also privileged just to see her growing up in the town of Belton. Second individual, his name is Ismail Abu, and I was really happy to see him being the recipient too because I had no idea that I would have his name. Um, he was a former basketball player on the boys basketball team. Unfortunately, they did not have a season. He too will be going to the University of Maryland and he will be majoring in aerospace engineering. And similarly, he has the same background as Monique with the uh, academics, athletics, and community service. Normally, when you, and he had a 4.693, normally when you see students with those type GPAs, you say, gee, they rank one and two in the class, but over time, the GPA has changed. Uh, now you find students that are leaving schools with a 5.0 because they change the numeric number. You know, once upon a time, a 3.0 for us would be a B, but that has actually changed now. Mm -hmm. but, but both students have been uh, caliber students. They have been great. And normally we would ask uh, the students to come in and get to check and take a picture, but Michelle and I found that, you know, the students went on vacation. They went to Ocean City. So, you know, Realistically, I did meet them, but graciously, Monique came in today to um, give appreciation to the board, and I think that's so grateful. And this is time, Monique. Welcome aboard. Where's that thing? Yeah, come on the front. Come in the front here and uh, go ahead. We've got Monique in the house, so uh, say a few words if you like. Dear Mayor Ott and Town Commissioners and Administration as well, the purpose of this letter is to thank you and express my gratitude for selecting me as the winner for the Mayor and Commissioner Scholarship Award. I am humbled by your generosity and I am honored to re represent this scholarship as I move on to become a Maryland Turk. I am so appreciative that you decided to invest in my future. Giving back to my community is very important to me and it's my hope that in the future I will be able to do that for students. Do for students what you have done for me. My plan is to obtain a degree in education with expectations of becoming a teacher for the state of Maryland. With the wording me $500, you have taken some of the financial burden off me so that I can place my focus on succeeding ac academically. Receiving this scholarship means you see my potential and I will strive to always do my best to maintain such high achievements and represent my, represent my school and community well. Again, I thank you for not only choosing me for the scholarship, but for investing in my future at the University of Maryland. Thank you, Monique. Monique, I have something for you. I won't be able to see you on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I will make a comment. Go ahead, Commissioner. Um, I'm so proud of my granddaughter. I know that I'm, um, let's see, did I get a 4.0? <laughs> but anyway, Going back to that, I was really, really excited when I heard that she received seven out of 18 scholarships, and that was very, very exceptional. Uh, well done to you, your mom, and I think your grandmom's side, because you didn't get it from me. <laughs> my brother and myself put together our GPA probably was 2.5. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just proud of you. Thank you. Fantastic. Wonderful. You. you know, before, yeah. before you go, I was just thinking about the, uh, the, the college school that they're trying to get back. And there have been a lot of people that passed on. It's just very few people left. And I'm voting a list of the people who attended that school. And they're always talking about not getting the intelligence from them. Very truly, your grandmother was a very smart lady uh, when she was in high school. So maybe you got it from her, but she was a very good student. I do remember that. It has a generation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Commissioner Gibbons, you have anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Commissioner, Commissioner Brumall. Nothing. Commissioner Massimiano. 
Um, two things. I just left the uh, board of directors meeting for the Toys for Tots golf tournament that the Elkton VFW was putting on. They're having a little trouble raising enough foursome, so if anyone knows uh, um, a foursome that they can put together, I'm sure that the VFW would greatly appreciate it. Uh, the second thing on my list is that I'm having my 35th anniversary of operating my business downtown this Saturday um, from noon on. And uh, Comptroller Franchio has uh, sent a representative up to uh, attend a ribbon cutting at noon. So I'd like you all to be there if you can. Fantastic. Congratulations. 35 years. Woo! 35. I used to look like this. <laughs> Very good. Well, this is the time of the meeting. We open up the floor for anyone that has anything to say for the good of the town of Elton. You're welcome to speak now if you'd like. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Mr. Lemon. My question is, I think I heard you say that you're going to open up and go back to normal meetings. And my question is, could you continue to have the virtual meetings for those that would like to call in? Well, you know, if we could figure out how to do them both, we're, we're doing it now. Uh, I'm going to task the staff into figuring that out for us. But I would agree with you. It would be a nice, uh, I think, uh, we, we're getting this down pretty darn good right now, and I think it would be an added benefit to the community if we were able to do it virtually also. So that's something we will absolutely work on. And it'll help with the, it'll help me, but it'll help with the parking and other things. That's an excellent suggestion, Mr. Lennon. Thank you. That's all okay. I got. Thank you, Mr. Lemon. Anyone else? You guys have, anything? have a great week. Thank you. Anyone uh -huh. else have anything for the good of the town of Elton? Hearing none, it is 1230. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you.